Hello friends, this video on current electricity part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 29 before going ahead with part 30. Last problem of this lesson which is again a 12 wired problem with different starting and ending points. So here you have to calculate the equivalent resistance between these points A and B. So first let us name the figure A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So in this case let us suppose some amount of current I enters this arm. So when it reaches this point it has again got three options. In the first option it has to just cover one resistance. In the second option it has to cover one, two, three resistors. And in the third option it has to cover one, two, three, four, five resistors. So that means different currents will flow through all the different circuits in this case. I'm sorry, I missed out something. See, when we look at this third part, the circuit current will not take this longest path because once it goes here, it will get a shorter path here. So that is one, two, three. So that means some amount of current, let us say, will flow, which is same through these two paths because here also it is one, two, three, and here also it is one, two, three. So let us suppose this is I1, this is also I1. Then how much current will flow through this one? This will be I minus 2 I1. Right? Now this current reaches here and this current reaches here. So once it reaches here, it again has two options. One is this and the other one is this. In the first option, it has to cover 1 and 2 resistor. In the second option, it has to cover 1, 2, 3 and 4 resistors. So that means different currents will flow here also. Let us say through this part I2 flows. So how much will flow through this part? That will be I1 minus I2. So this I1 minus I2 will reach here and this I2 will reach here. Now let us look at this point E. I1 came here and from here it has two options again. One is this one through which it has to cover 1 and 2 resistor. The other one is this one through which it has to cover 1, 2, 3 and 4 resistor. So this two resistor path, let us suppose the current which flows is I2. So how much current will flow through this? That will be I1 minus I2. So now when you look at this point, I1 minus I2 comes from here and I1 minus I2 also comes from here. So they both will add up to form 2I1 minus 2I2. So this 2I1 minus 2I2 will reach here. Right? So once this 2i1 minus 2i2 reaches here, again it has got two parts. One is this one and the other one is this one. So if it goes through this, it has to cover one, two resistor. If it goes through this, then also it has to cover two resistor. So that means this 2i1 minus 2i2 gets divided into equal parts. So i1 minus i2 will go via this. Again, the remaining i1 minus i2 will go via this. So this I1 minus I2 reaches here and from this I2 is already coming. So they both will add up to form I1. Similarly, this I1 minus I2 will reach here and from here I2 is already coming. So they both will add up to form I1 here. So I1 from here, I1 from here and I minus 2 I1 from here. Three of them will add up to form I. Right? So I current entered the circuit and I current came out. That means the current distribution which we determined here is absolutely correct. Now let us draw the simple diagram. We start with point A. So from point A it goes to point D. Same current goes to point D and E. So we will draw D and E together. And some different current goes to point B and point B is the last point as well. So let us draw point B quite far because it is the last point also. Okay. Now what happens to point D and E? So from point D, different current goes to point C and point H. That means from point D, some amount of current goes to point H. Some other amount of current goes to point C. 
So let us draw one by one. So from point D, some amount of current goes to point H and also from point E, some amount of current goes to H. So from D also it goes to H and from E also it goes to H, right? From H, what happens? From H, the current goes to some point G. So let us draw some point G here. So from H, it is going to some point G. From G, some amount of current is going to C and some amount of current is going to F. But they are the same amount of current. Same current is going to C and F. Therefore, we can draw it like this. C and F can be drawn together because same current is going to C and F. And from C, a current goes to B. That means from C will be directly connected to B and F is also directly connected to B. So C is directly connected to B, F is also directly connected to B. Do you think we have completed everything? Let us calculate number of lines. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have just 10 lines. That means we have missed out two arms. What are the two arms? The two arms are the one which is from D to C. D is also connected to C. So you have connect to you have to connect this D to this C. And what is the other one? The other one is E is also connected to F. So we missed this too. So that means E is also connected to F. So now we have completed our simpler circuit. Here everywhere we have one resistor. Each of resistance R. Right? So here also we will do the same thing. These two are in parallel. 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 So we will simplify the circuit. We already know that parallel combination of R and R gives R by 2. So what we do, let us start with point A. So from point A, instead of this RR parallel combination, we replace with R by 2. So from there, we reach at this point from where we have 1 R. In the middle line, we have a RR parallel combination, which is R by 2. Then we have 1 R. Then we again have a RR parallel combination, which is R by 2. And in the bottom line, we have 1 R. And all these merge up at a single point. And from there, we again have a RR combina parallel combination, which is R by 2 and it ends up at point B. And there is another resistor, which is R, which gets directly joined to point B. Now you can solve this circuit. First you solve this interior circuit. In this circuit, you can see that this R by 2, R and R by 2, these three are in series. So we can just add them up. So our circuit will become little more simpler. This is R and the middle one we can replace with one resistor. And we can just join them in this way. Right? So this was also R and what is this R? This will be nothing but R by 2 plus R by 2 plus R. That is nothing but 2R. Now this R, 2R and R, these three are in parallel. So what will be the parallel combination? R parallel of R, parallel 2R, parallel R. That will be equal to 1 by R. P is equal to 1 by R plus 1 by 2R plus 1 by R. So from this we will get the value of Rp as 2 by 5R. So this will be the parallel combination of R, 2R and R. So we can further draw the circuit like this. This is R by 2. Instead of these three resistors we can write 2R by 5. Then we have R by 2 and it ends up at point B. And you had another resistor which was R by 2. So now if you see this R by 2, this 2 R by 5 and this R by 2, these three are in series. So we can further draw it like this. This is point A. 
This is point B. This was R by 2 and the series combination of this will be R by 2 plus 2R by 5 plus R by 2 that will give 7 by 5R. So this is 7 by 5R and this is R by 2. So what will be R equivalent? R equivalent will be parallel combination of 7 by 5R and R by 2. So R equivalent on calculating comes out to be 7 by 12R. So this is the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So I think we solved, I tried to solve as many problems as I could to make you understand how we use different methods to calculate equivalent resistance of complicated circuits. So this lesson was basically, this entire lesson was basically dedicated to Ohm's law, the basics of current electricity and all about resistors and their combination. So in the next lesson, which will be coming up soon, what we will discuss is the how do we analyze different electrical circuits. So in that we will look at different complicated circuits which will have batteries as well as resistors as well as capacitors, everything together and we will try to solve as many circuits as possible in all different ways so that your concepts on electric charges and current electricity becomes clearer. So I hope whatever was explained this this chapter was quite clear to you. So meet you in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.